Okay, I'm going to show now is how do we debug uh, code from the uh, source uh, here in uh, Eclipse. And if you were to de um, be in Idempure at a certain uh, location, let's say um, at the moment, I want to uh, debug this uh, replenish report because um, I'm trying to do uh, something and it's not responding according to what I like to do. Let me try and uh, push to, um, let's say this, I want to create um, inventory move in the document type and uh, I run it it um, give me something yeah it's saying that there should be a move uh, from tree farm and uh, to somewhere warehouse source warehouse here but um, I, I come back here there's no uh, record as it will happen if I would choose a um, purchase order Okay, so when you choose the purchase order and I run it, you can see that yes, uh, purchase um, order comes out with a link, and you click on it, it will open. So, how do I find out what actually has happened with and with open source? You can actually look at the code, but where is the code? So, um, the way to trace it is that we go and relog out and um, <clears throat> log back in uh, through the system and uh, trace to the um, menu um, here and look for that item that was just uh, executed so it's as simple as that so let me try replenish so um, you have replenish report, you just scroll down, you find that it's a process, you click on it and in the process it will tell you oh, compare process replenish report. Now if you're familiar with the source, you can then uh, go to look for it um, under process, if not you can just do a search, but it's most likely here so what's the name again it's called replenish pqr and um, here you uh, make it well there you go replenish report so open up get your outline you can see that it's supposed to create uh, movements Right, and then you trace who is calling it here. So let's put a stop here and then run it again. So change back the role. So you can see that it's pretty easy to um, debug when it's the open source. And uh, let's lock in, and then you can find out what actually you have got wrong. So call again the then they should then to type everything in. <coughs> so again, let's call um, from. Oh, we can call the uh, previous parameter. Okay, so run it again. See that it will stop at where you are debugging, and then you can uh, walk through see that if it behaves so we want to be MMM so yes it should do that yeah let's go in and what happened so from here <coughs> let's see that there's nothing there's nothing in it so we can then uh, trace back and um, say get replenish so you put a stop here and then uh, we step into so we select it 
and then you will have a um, SQL so from here copy it out and uh, go to your database editor okay and uh, let me uh, put it uh, somewhere else okay and call it out and then you case and uh, see and debug what's happening and um, you will say blah 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 um, let me take this out so it's returning nothing right select from nothing so at least you know that and then you can go back and try and figure out why it's not doing anything and you could um, look further and check back with the um, other method that works because there's something to uh, compare a replenishment um, requisition and a purchase order you could do it so that's how I would do it all right so here is let's play the clue and uh, we will uh, give you more tips from time to time